Hey guys, Dream here, back with another Minecraft speedrun world record. That's right guys, I just broke another world record. You had a 1 in 7.5 trillion chance of getting those drops, buddy. I'm telling you, I, 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 I didn't cheat. Okay, okay. Maybe I accidentally had a mod that increased my drops. Yesterday, Dream admitted to cheating on his speedrun. He posted a long explanation on how it was an accident. I feel like a lot of YouTubers are going to read this response, pick it apart, and try to prove that it's fake. And maybe they're right. But the truth is, unless you are Dream, you don't know. Which is why I am making this video. Instead of questioning his honesty and judging him as a person, I'm simply going to offer a strong motive behind why it would make sense for Dream to knowingly cheat on his speedrun. Any way you look at it, he gained a lot from this entire situation. This video, I'm not going to discuss his response. If you want to read it, there's a link below, but basically, it wasn't his fault because he accidentally used the mod which increased his drop rates. Picking apart this response will get you nowhere, which is why I'm going to establish a motive behind why he would cheat in the first place. Update, a few hours ago his post was deleted and he tweeted something very surprising. We're going to talk about that tweet at the end, so don't go anywhere. This video is just a theory. It's up to you to decide whether or not his response was genuine. Dream is my favorite Minecraft YouTuber, and I respect him a lot, but there are several reasons why it would make sense for him to fake a speedrun and then release this response. And if you want my opinion, I'll tell you at the end. Also, if you smash subscribe, I'll visit your house every week and deliver you a new video. Let's get started. Dream started YouTube on July 6, 2019. But what many people don't know is that before posting his first video, he had studied the site for months. At the time of his first upload, Dream knew exactly what he was doing, which led to that video, his first video, going viral. Over the next few weeks, he would upload more and more videos, and every single one of them was successful. So it's pretty clear Dream has a very deep knowledge of YouTube, an understanding of what goes viral and what doesn't. This is important for later on. Eight months after his first video, Dream was almost at 3 million subscribers. It was at this time when he realized, if he wanted to spark the insane growth of his channel, he needed to do something big. After all, Minecraft was the most crowded topic on YouTube. With the knowledge Dream had, he knew he had to do something to differentiate himself from every other YouTuber on the platform. What could he do that they couldn't? Now, don't forget, Dream had built up the reputation of being the world's best Minecraft player, so beating a few speedrunning world records was very reasonable. If he released a speedrun, people would believe it, and it would also make for some great entertainment. Not to mention, he already had a successful series called Speedrunner vs Hunter. If he actually became a legit speedrunner, it would add to the excitement of those videos. It's a win-win-lose situation. The only group who would lose is the speedrun committee, because they actually care about the validity of times. But Dream doesn't care about that. Having some record displayed on a website no one looks at is pretty worthless, on its own. But if he was a YouTuber and made a video on it, that would be big news. So I'm not going to talk about the speedrun itself, I'm sure you've already seen it, but on March 16th, he broke the world record. At the time, this was insane. The video currently has 17 million views and would pave the way for him to become Minecraft's biggest YouTuber. But that wasn't the end. Three months later, Dream would break another speedrun world record, this time for version 1.15. He beat the game in 22 minutes, the video hit 25 million views, and everyone loved it. Except for the speedrunning committee. Remember that one group of people I talked about? Well, as it turns out, they didn't like Dream's speedrun. Why? Along with many other people, they thought it was suspicious, because his odds of getting certain drops were literally impossible. And by impossible, I mean 1 in 7.5 trillion. And these people were the ones who actually cared about the legitness of speedruns. I mean, it was their job. Fast forward, and we have this mess. 
The community started putting out accusatory videos. People started talking, and it created the entire drama we see today. Back and forth between the speedrunning community and Dream. Obviously, this bothered him. I mean, he mentioned how he wanted to get it off his chest, and it's not hard to see why. It was the one controversy that kept coming back to him, because everyone knew he had to have cheated in some way. But at this point, Dream had won. His speedruns gave him the publicity he needed to rise to the top, to become the world's number one Minecraft YouTuber. I would argue that he didn't need them, but the attention he received certainly sped up the process. And if we're being honest, Dream probably planned the whole thing because it directly helped him grow his channel. So what was Dream's next move? Well, he had fully benefited from these speedrunning videos, so the best, most calculated decision he could make was to admit to cheating, but in a way that preserved his reputation. And this is of course where we are today. Dream released his final response, putting an end to the drama in a way that made him look good. While it is possible he accidentally cheated and had no idea until all these videos came out, when you look back at the motives, the massive amount of subscribers he gained due to this situation, and the timing of his apology, it does make it seem calculated in a way. Do I think Dream cheated on purpose? Yes. Why? Because he had a strong motive to use the speedrun world record to grow his channel, which was of course, publicity. But if he did knowingly cheat, it doesn't mean he's a bad person or doesn't deserve his subscribers. I think it's funny because in a weird way, his cheating benefited everyone. It helped his channel grow, provided good entertainment, and while the speedrunning community disliked his self-proclaimed world record, they were able to get a lot more exposure and it gave them something actually interesting to work on. Okay, update. Dream just posted a whole bunch of stuff on Twitter explaining the situation. Here's his main tweet. People have no idea anything about my content, or me as a person, or my history do too much talking. I'm a YouTuber, not a professional speedrunner. I speedrun against Muffin Boy Halo and Co. for fun, and entertainment, and have for over a year. Now this actually backs up my point in this video. Dream is not a professional speedrunner. He just wants to make good videos and spread positivity. And yeah, as a YouTuber, holding a speedrunning world record for the most popular game in the world is extremely lucrative, and it totally makes sense why he would want to obtain it by any means possible. Dream puts out some of the best Minecraft videos on YouTube. I've seen all of them, and he's awesome. I just wanted to make this video to show what his primary motive would be if he cheated on purpose, and I think this video does a good job summing it up. He's not a bad person, he simply wanted exciting content for his viewers, and that's exactly what he got. That's about it, thanks for watching, smash subscribe, and I will kiss you on the lips.